In this video I'm going to show you the workflow for removing sold listings from Amazon then deleting the zero quantity items from the inventory database. First synchronize your FBA shipments to update shipment quantities. Click FBA shipments manager and make sure to synchronize both the working queue and the shipping queue. Click synchronize with Amazon then go to the shipping queue and again synchronize with Amazon. Next you'll also want to update the Amazon quantity column so to do this click import and download your listings from Amazon. Now that these quantity columns are populated with the most up-to-date information sort your inventory by the Amazon and shipment quantity columns click on the Amazon quantity column then while pressing the shift key click the shipment quantity column once the inventory is sorted by both of these columns select all items that show zero in both columns click set Amazon flags and then click set delete from Amazon you'll notice how the delete from Amazon column will be checked for all the items in the selection. Before uploading these deletes to your Amazon account go to File, Preferences, click Upload Options and make sure that this setting right here to completely remove the listings is checked. Click OK and now just click Upload and Remove Listings Marked for Delete. Once the upload is done, delete the selected zero quantity items from the inventory as well by pressing the delete button. The items we deleted so far were FBA items. To delete zero quantity merchant fulfilled items, first import your orders from Amazon. Click on orders and select get my orders now. This action decreases quantities for any sold merchant fulfilled items in the inventory quantity column. Once the orders are imported, sort your inventory by the listed state column and then sort it by the inventory column as well. Now select all merchant fulfilled items that show a quantity of zero. Mark the items for delete, upload to Amazon then just delete the items from inventory and you are good to go. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, send us an email to support at sellerengine.com.